This week, we're looking at building a chatbot. I started with a CSV of all the data that I wanted to put into the chatbot. It had different categories like product name, blank, the URL, the decoration method. Next, I took that information into ChatGPT and I built a project. A project lets you upload a knowledge source and give it instructions so that it would refer to the CSV each time I asked a question. I said, I need to generate a, C a CSV of Q&A for each product, answering the category for each product or the blank style number, as the user might call it, the blank for each product. And ChatGPT would generate a CSV with a question category and an answer category using the data that I provided in the knowledge base from my original CSV. Basically, it was just reformatting the data into a method that the chatbot could understand, which was Q&A. Once it finished all of its CSV generations, I downloaded them. I took a look at them to make sure they were in the format that I wanted. And then I took them over to the chatbot. Inside of the chatbot, you upload your data sources and you have the option to import from CSV in the Q&A format. I used that option so that I could continue to add questions and not replace what was already in there. I would upload the category CSV and it would go to 534 questions. Next, I uploaded the product CSV and it increased again. Each time I uploaded a CSV, I would increase the number of results. It became 734 questions that it referred to. And then I went in and started using the chatbot to beta test as a user. I asked it one of its generic questions about the New Orleans mosaic design. And then I asked for a link so I could take a look at the shirt. Next, I asked what category that design falls into. Of course, the AI elaborates. It tries to talk to you. I asked what blank it was. I was sure to tell it in the data that it may refer to the blank item. It may refer to the blank. It may refer to the item number. The testing comes up with questions based on the knowledge, so you can use those. I asked it which stores sell tote bags, and it gave me a list of all the stores that contain tote bags. I asked it what tote bag does this particular store sell, and it gave me a product list of its tote bags which is essentially two tote bags, and it showed me the various colors. And then I asked for what blank it is and what decoration method it uses. Then I tried again to ask about the end of gun violence T. It has all the correct information in the data source, but the chatbot is not able to interact with anything that contains the word gun. But it does tell you to talk to a person. This is the guardrails that are on the chatbot to protect users from harmful information. 
In the data sources, you can see all of the questions. You can click on each one that ChatGPT created. You can edit them. You can delete them. There's 734 questions that ChatGPT built, and the project took about four hours. Thanks so much, you guys. It's the end of the world.